<sighs> is your puppy chewing everything in sight? Don't worry, I got you. In this video, I am going to go over exactly how to resolve this issue, so stay tuned. For the best dog training and product advice, be sure to hit subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Wednesday. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Lisa. I've dog sat and trained hundreds and hundreds of dogs and puppies, and I love sharing my advice with all of you. After watching my videos, if you still feel like you need a little bit more personalized help, don't worry, I got you. Just click the link below to book and we'll work together on creating a customized training plan for you. All right, without further ado, let's get right into it. So there are a few reasons why puppies like to bite and chew. And number one, that's because they are teething. Teething is a reality of owning a young puppy and it's just something we have to prepare for. Some other reasons why your puppy might be chewing, especially if they're older, is out of boredom or perhaps they're just exploring the world with their mouth trying to figure out how different textures feel as they chew. There are a few reasons why puppies are destructive. If you have a very young puppy then most likely it's because they are teething. Teething is just a reality of adopting a young puppy so we just have to be prepared for that. Some other reasons especially if you have an older puppy could be that they're just bored and they're just looking for things to get into. So step one since you already know that your puppy likes to chew on things let's get ahead of our puppy by by providing them with things that are okay or appropriate to chew on. So examples are something a little bit harder, like a Himalayan chew or a bully stick, maybe something in the medium range, like a whimsy for puppies. And last but not least, perhaps some different textures, like a stuffed animal or something a little bit softer. Now with all of these, you'll definitely want to monitor, especially in the beginning, to make sure they're not choking or ingesting too big of pieces. And with cloth or stuff, animals they shouldn't be ingesting any of it i'll link to my favorite puppy chews below in my amazon store if you want to check those out step number two is to not give your pup too much freedom now the biggest thing i see with people owning puppies is that they immediately give their dogs or puppies way way too much freedom and it's important to start off with a small section of the house that's puppy proofed and then slowly slowly give them more freedom as they earn it now if your puppy is concerned consistently getting into furniture, that's something that you need to take ownership of. Stop giving your puppy too much freedom, get a playpen, maybe you put them away in the bathroom that's completely puppy proofed when you can't keep an eye on them. And when you are home, maybe you attach them to you. That's actually what I do with all puppies that I watch, just because it's so easy for them to get into stuff. Now, it's not a surprise to us that puppies are gonna chew on things. So since we know that information, it's up to us, the humans, to manage their environment so that that we can avoid them getting into those undesirable situations. I always recommend to puppy owners to have a long-term and short-term confinement area. An example of a long-term confinement area is a playpen and short-term would be a crate when you are away or you can't be home. Step three is to prompt your pup away from furniture or whatever they're chewing on if they get into it. Now, I also am realistic. We are human. Humans aren't perfect. And so most likely we will accidentally give our pup too much freedom once in a while and if you do then just make sure that rather than moving them away from what they're chewing on try to prompt them away so they actually have to use their brain and they learn and then reinforce when they look away with something even better like an even better chew toy i would really recommend not just pulling your puppy away from whatever it is because we really do want to teach them that skill to leave these things alone rather than just maneuver maneuvering them ourselves now the one caveat to that is if your pup is in true danger it's a life or death situation you realize that your dog is about to eat chocolate yeah you should pull your dog and make sure they don't get into that. But as much as you can, really try to teach them on their own to move away from that specific piece of furniture or shoe or whatever it is. All right, that's it for today, everyone. If you still need more help, I have my ultimate good dog blueprint. You can download that below. I go over how to train the most common problem behaviors like jumping, chewing, all of that good stuff.
I also have a Possum Parents Facebook group. You can join for free and ask questions in there for free as well. Last but not least, just a reminder, if you want that extra bit of attention, I have my one-on-one virtual consultations if you are interested. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.